So, here I am again, with my follow-up rant to my iPod segment. And, if anyone guessed it, I caved into peer pressure and bought one of these fuckers. So, here's my new iPod Nanochromatic, 4th generation, and I won't lie, it's amazing. It holds every song I could ever dream of listening to, a few episodes of my favorite shows, a few photos, and I just love it. I've had it for about four months now with no problems. Until yesterday. <coughs> yes, that's right, Apple screwed me over. I went to charge up the damn thing as usual, and iTunes told me the wonderful news that I could not connect to my iPod because a file was missing. <coughs> so I tried downloading iTunes version 8, but still got the same message. <coughs> so then I tried resetting my iPod. That didn't work either. So I'm almost at my breaking point when I realized that I didn't update my software. So thinking I had solved all my problems, I just clicked on update software, and guess what? It still says it can't fucking connect to my iPod. So finally, at my wit's end, I tried restoring it. Bad idea. I got this message. So, let me get this straight. iTunes is telling me it can't find my iPod, and my stupid iPod is telling me to restore itself using iTunes. What the fuck? We have ourselves a paradox here. I can't restore with iTunes because iTunes can't find my iPod, and my iPod won't go back to normal until it's restored, but iTunes can't find it! So now, I either gotta try all these useless tutorials on Apple's support page, or just go buy a new iPod. And right now, option two is looking more promising. So fuck you, Apple, and fuck all iPods everywhere. I stand by my original statement. iPods are a complete waste of time and money. And you know what? That's what I don't get. N n no, no, that's what pisses me off. That's right, I'm changing the name of the show. Because not only do I not get these things, they piss me off. So you know what? That's what pisses me off. <laughs>